Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. I am here today with the president of Spiegler Performance Parts USA, Matthias Schaub, and we are going to talk about brake lines for the front of your motorcycle, specifically stainless steel braided front brake lines. I want to begin the whole discussion here. We're going to go back and forth, a little Q&A. I want to give you our opinion here. In terms of modifications you can make to your sport bike, and let's face it, there's a million things you can do to it. A lot of them are very expensive. We're talking about roughly at the end of the day here a little over a hundred dollar bill. Okay, you got to get some fluids, some lines. You are going to notice this modification. You're going to put it on there, you're going to bleed the brakes, you're going to go for a ride, you're going to have better lever feel, better threshold power, you're going to notice it. It is about the best bang for the buck there is in terms of performance modifications. That being said, there are other things you can do to the braking system as well. We'll cover a lot of that later. Next from the lines would be some brake pads. And then we can always get a little fancier. We can do some front brake rotors, some nice wave rotors, reduce the rotating mass. And then if you want to get really crazy, we can throw a nice Brembo radial master cylinder on there for you and kind of complete the system. But for now, like I said, our focus is going to be the front braided brake lines. There are a lot of different manufacturers out there today. I happen to have one here with us. The line that we promote and we sell the most of is the Spiegler line. And let's face it, the reality is it's not the most known name in the industry today. I would want to say arguably the mo most known name is probably these gentlemen right here. This company, Galford, they make nice stuff as well. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a little head-to-head -head comparison here between the Galfer and the Spiegler braided front brake lines. Now, Matthias, if I'm just regular John Q customer, I decide I'm going to put brake lines on my motorcycle. Why should I purchase your Spiegler product over Galford? We, the first and best argument basically is we don't make a difference um, if we sell those brake lines to racer like Larry Pagram or the rider on the street. All of our brake lines are DOT approved. That is for me basically the main reason because the DOT approval certifies that those lines went through several testing they make them safe for street use and for the racetrack use and um, that is yeah that's basically that's number one that's number now, one now on the testing I'm gonna jump in here real quick they're not just DOT they're also TUV which is a that's a European standard that's right? a European standard yes especially it's a German standard now, as I understand it, DOT is almost a self-certification process. Is that that's, true? That's almost basically correct. Now, yes. does the same hold true for TUV, or is that a little more stringent? No, the TUV is more stringent. The TUV actually based on the same regulations like the DOT, but in order to get the TUV approval, you have to do the testing from certified labs. All the um, basically the, the records has to be sent into the TUV um, for. Uh, administration so that um, the TUV has the records that the testing was done so and it has also passed the testing. You're paying for this? You are paying for this, that costs a lot of money, so you're easily spending five digit numbers for this. Wow, Yeah. that is that is a lot of money, absolutely. Okay, now let's talk about it. what do you do at, at, at your shop, because every one of these lines is basically built to order, okay? We've got a number, how many different color fittings, Matthias? We have nine different color fittings. How many different color line? Nine different line colors. Okay, we all love to customize our bikes, give them their own look, you know, kind of make it ours, if you will. <coughs> their stuff allows us to do that, a special order, without having to wait for a special order. They're a day away from us. We phone in or email over a purchase order for a custom set of lines, you can change the length a little bit, you know, alter the colors, whatever you need us to have done and we have them within a day, which is fantastic. But what do you do to make sure that your assembly process and your, your equipment there is up to snuff and that you're not having any manufacturing issues? Brian, we, we test our lines. Um, basically, we do a line test every week, once. And we do this on Monday morning, mostly, and um, to make sure that our equipment is still has the right pressure on the crimp sleeves, um, which the press was around, the press was around about 60 tons, to give you guys an idea. And um, we have also test equipment where we can high pressure test the brake lines, where we can pull the brake lines, where we can rip the test um, brake lines. That is a, a very long test, goes over uh, yeah, one and a half days basically, and to make sure that those lines are still holding up what we promise. 
No, and, and that's important because let's face it, brake lines are definitely a, a safety feature. Now, one of the, the, the features for these lines that really stands out for me is with the majority yes. of the other manufacturers, when you get the line, the fittings are in a fixed position. You mount the lines on the motorcycle, and what I found more often than not, they don't line up, they don't route just right, so you end up with some, some kinks and stuff like this. It puts a little added stress on the line, and also aesthetically, it's just not what you'd hope. Now, your lines have the ability to adjust the fittings. Yes, Brian, we have a nice feature. We, with every line kit, we supply one of our little tool kits here, that includes those little blocks. And there's also, of course, a mounting instruction on the back of the package. And those little blue blocks, or black blocks, they go around the crimp sleeve, the stainless steel crimp sleeve, and you have the possibility to adjust this by yourself at home. The only thing you need basically is a vise where you have to put this and you put the lines at first on the bike, figure out eventually if the fitting has to be rotated with position, maybe just 20 degrees more to the left or right. So you take this little rod here, go through the eye of the banjo fitting and then you can rotate actually the fitting in the line without that the line starts leaking. It's a very nice feature and it eliminates any line twist. It gives you a very clean look at the bike and a clean and proper routing of the bike. The one that I just rotated is it's a demonstrator line and it's been manipulated many times. So I'm able to do this, you know, right now just by hand. And per Matthias, even this being able to rotate simply by hand, would this leak? No, it would not leak. That's good quality because it, it has a lot to do with the design of the fitting and the way it's installed and, and, and pressed in. It, even though it rotates so easily which is not common. Understand that when you do this at home, when you make the adjustment at home, you're going to need to use either a vise and or a bigger set of channel locks to hold that clamping device tightly and then you use the tool to go in the end of the line like this because they're not going to rotate like this when you get them. Okay, you need to know that. We don't want you to think that it's going to be that simple. What else, what else do you have for us, Matthias? We use basically very good uh, materials, top of the line materials. All our fittings are made out of billet aluminum. We use stainless steel crimp sleeves. That gives the line a very light weight in comparison to other manufacturers which use mostly steel and it's just the inferior materials. Okay. One of the most, once again, popular brands in this country is the Galfa. They're huge. They make a good product. I think they, you'll even agree yes, with it. Yes, absolutely. They make an excellent good product. I'm going to read this word for word to make this fair. This is from the back of the package. Warning, race use only. Must be installed by a professional motorcycle mechanic. Any other installations, void warranty. Uh, that's pretty interesting. What that tells me is their lines have not been subjected to proper testing. I mean, to, to, to obtain DOT and TUV. So essentially, it's, it's like a big disclaimer if something goes wrong. That's, that's in, right. In a way. Yeah. And, you know, Spiegler has taken the extra step and spent the extra money, as you heard him say, it wasn't cheap to get the line certified and I think that helps them rest easier knowing that their product is everything th that it should be and then some because the reality is these go so far and above the actual numbers they need to pass the test it's ridiculous the reality is these lines are probably over engineered and overbuilt but when you're talking about brakes for the front of your motorcycle about the safety it's that's money well spent yes absolutely that is that is money well spent so, all things covered here, I, I think we've displayed uh, pretty well why we prefer the Spiegler brand over the other things that are out there on the market today. We've got some better features. The customization with the color fittings, the color line, I think that's a great feature. You can really get a unique look for your motorcycle. Oh, and by the way, we don't charge any extra for that here. You can choose whatever you want. You can do it online. You can call our guys. If you want to make them a little bit longer, we can do that for you too. If you've got maybe a you know riser clip-ons or something, we can help you out there. And yeah, it's not going to cost any extra either. So there's a lot of flexibility built into this product. Matthias, I want to say thanks for joining well, us thank today. Thank you very much for having me here. I, I think Appreciate it's a good this. opportunity for for you know our riders out there to actually ha listen to your words and not just my words or those of another retailer. So thanks for that. Thank you very much.